Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ephoenix N, and I am playing some Domination here on Grid. I... It's probably one of my favorite maps. I really, really like this map. I pretty consistently do well on this map. I couldn't tell you why, but uh, yeah, I just kind of do, so that's pretty fun. <clears throat> um, I think I talked about it before when I had my one of my M60 videos, but... Um, Except for right there when the truck exploded on me. Behind that truck is an amazing spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> but uh, especially after... Um, yeah, after it's blown up so it doesn't blow up on you if someone throws a grenade there. But um, yeah, I think that's one of the best spots behind it is uh, grab A and B. And, uh, you know, flip the pawns if you must, but grab A and B and hover behind that... Uh, um, that truck there and uh, that's the best place to be just because even the upstairs on either side, one those are so crowded that people seem to be able to flank because there's multiple entrances, entrances to most of those and everyone always looks up there because it's so well known where people are going to be camping out up there that um, it just it seems like it's a much more difficult place to successfully uh, defend the B flag up there versus just behind this little jeep here and you're not uh, within view of the one of the um, well, one of the upstairs balcony areas so where they can see out the windows, so that's pretty good. Um, and like you said, most of this, or a decent amount of this game, I'm sitting behind here, kind of just defending B. And, yeah, so I guess that one, of, one of the things I want to talk about is how people play Domination versus how they should play Domination. Dominate, like, it's considered a bad technique or bad etiquette to play a very camp style, like very campy style in, like, say, Team Deathmatch, where in a lot of ways it's just really obnoxious, it's you're sitting in a corner, but with something like Domination, you need to be, and this is kind of a cry out there to whatever randoms I happen to get on my team, um, which probably not a ton of you going to watch this video, obviously, uh, I don't have many subscribers, but just... Oh my god, if you are a random out there and you happen to watch this video, pay attention. Because, oh my god, you can really screw up a game fairly often. Because what you want to do is you want to run around and jump on every flag you see. I mean, ignore about map control, ignore about um, spawn trapping or anything like that. Like, you just jump on every flag you see, which is not necessarily what you want to do in Domination. And normally I'd say, well, at least they're trying and, you know, they're trying to do something as far as um, helping the team objectively. But that's, they hurt the team more than anything else because they spread the team out so far that they ended up leaving the other flags open almost continuously. I can't tell you the amount of flags where the entire, or many, how many games I have held down, like, say, a B flag all game long and have really, like, basically dominated for my team, but we've lost because I had a bunch of randoms that, um, you know, end up going like, I went 3-30 and 30, um, as a random as far as kill death, but I got 9 caps. Well, guess what? That's fantastic, but we still lost because you still died a shit ton and you spread out the team and you allowed them to continuously cap A or C. So, I guess my thing is, this is a desperate plea to... The people that don't play with uh, a large group of guys or a decent amount of group of guys, fucking sit home and defend a flag. Because it seems like every time I play um, Domination anymore, that I have like anywhere between like five and like twelve cat or five and twelve defends, and the rest of the team combined has like three. But they have like a ton of caps, which is, sounds great. Like oh my god, they're playing the objective, but it's not because it totally fucks with map control. It allows all your teammates to get killed in the back continuously because you're continuously flipping spawns by capping C when we don't need to cap C, or um, and, and just things like that. Like this one here, if we just have A and B, it's the best. It's one thing if you're just dominating a team and you're up by like 100 or something like that, that taking all three flags is whatever. But unless that's the case, which it's usually not when you're playing with a bunch of randoms, say if you're playing a mercenary mosh pit, Anyway, and uh, I don't know, just the kind of way that you need to deal with that, um, you know, if you actually want to win, if you want to win a game uh, of domination, you need to learn how to defend the flag. And it might seem a little campy, a little bitchy, but those are people that don't really understand the game as a whole. 
because no team ever won domination. Unless they were just amazing, you had a group of just amazing players and you just outclassed them as far as talent. But no close team, like two teams that play each other close, the team that wins is the team that defends, not the team that's running around like madmen trying to desperately to kill people and cap every flag they see. And I don't know, I guess that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about as far as this one here. I, um, I just, I've kind of given up in some ways on domination. Uh, or at least I'm not playing it nearly as much just because I got really frustrated because I had one of the times I had a guy that went one in 33 but he had um, <laughs> but he had nine caps and I'm sure in the back of his head he he's like well I might have died a lot but at least I had a lot of caps and I you know I capped a lot of flags and I, I really worked did help for my team when real realistically he didn't you know realistically he screwed his team over because you know continuously flipping spawns and just screwing, you know, one of the most frustrating things about team deathmatch or domination is when you're on a random team and you flip, they flip the spawns and suddenly you don't know where the enemy is and you get shot in the back all the time. When half your deaths are from getting shot in the back, it's pretty obnoxious. But um, that tends to be what happens as far as uh, domination if you're not playing with a, a decent crew at least. So... Anyway, enough of me bitching. I, I'm not. This isn't necessarily meant to be like a complaint video. More of a figure out what you're doing um, as far as uh, Black Ops or really any Call of Duty game and dom domination is. It's a little different. Uh, Tactics a little more uh, involved and more complicated and better um, as far as when you play with uh, a coordinated group where you have communication back and forth. But. Um, as far as when playing with miscellaneous people, and um, especially if you're one of those miscellaneous people, just remember, you know, if you watch this video and you're playing domination, kind of think back and realize that it's more important to post up and defend a flag than it is to necessarily cap everything you see or like run to C or to A to, you know, cap a third flag when you don't need to or you know, to run away from B and let them cap B while, you know, you're trying to cap uh, A or, you know, anything of that nature. So, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, anyway, that's my public service announcement for domination on, <laughs> on Black Ops. So, anyway, guys, peace. I'll see you later.